Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. It is another edition of Face Off Friday, and today I picked out three blaster boxes from 2019. We've got Elite Extra Edition. There's only five cards in this box, but two of them are going to be hits. Either autographs or memorabilia cards, which would be relics. Then we have 2019 Panini Chronicles, which is a really nice set. Uh, like all the rookies from 2019 that are in this class, I'm looking forward to opening that one. And another underrated blaster box, in my opinion, is 2019 Archives, that also has a lot of those great rookies from 2019. So it's a 2019 Face-Off Friday, and our sponsor today is going to be Ryan Page. Ryan, thank you very much, and congratulations. He is graduating high school, class of 2020. Ryan, thank you very much, and um, good luck with your future plans. I know graduating high school is a huge deal, and uh, I'm sorry that uh, this particular year has been a little bit tough, but um, you will have a story to tell your loved ones um, for many, many years. Uh, I don't think any of us are going to forget this terrible pandemic, but it looks like we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So anyway, what we're going to do here is I'm going to pick the best box in my opinion, then I'm going to open all these box and put the best five out on the screen. I'm going to predict Chronicles as our winner. I'm going to take number two. I'm taking Archives. Number three, I'm taking Elite Extra Edition. Uh, there's only five cards in there. I'm not sure if the hits are going to be that great or not. I mean, if we have a Bobby Witt Jr. in there, then it is going to be the winning box. But we'll start off with the hit box, Elite Extradition. These boxes usually sell for, if you look at eBay, they're around $30 to $35 per blaster. I was lucky enough to find one of these at Target just sitting on the shelves for $19.99. So here we go. Only five cards in this box. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. I also have some other videos coming your way this weekend. I hope you can check out our, our um, Saturday showdown tomorrow and another video. We have a double upload day tomorrow. We'll also be doing Boombox High End Edition. Uh, and I'm going to be giving all of those cards away. And then Sunday, we have the Boombox Platinum Edition, which is the $100 Boombox. It's a really nice product. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss those videos. Only one pack in here. Let's see what we have. You can see Bobby Witt Jr., the number two overall pick in the draft last year. Shortstop, power hitting, prospect for the Royals. Only five cards. So you know what that means, guys. I always pick the top five cards. Every one of these is automatically in the maybe pile. So here we go, one pack, two hits per pack. So we are going to see two autographs or relics or one of each. Our first card, it's going to be a Leo Crawford uh, leading things off. So that's automatically in the maybe pile. We've never had a five card pack out of a blaster. So this is going to be kind of interesting. It is numbered also, by the way, out of nine ninety nine, three twenty seven of nine ninety nine. Then we have a Lennon Sosa from the Chicago White Sox, I guess Chicago. And uh, there's the back of the card. Very nice. It's not numbered, but it's a Panini Aspirations um, card. I'm going to put that one in the May pile as well. We have an autograph. It's Jaseel De La Cruz, and it's numbered out of 100. So nice low-numbered auto there, 35 out of 100 from the Atlanta Braves. Jaseel De La Cruz. We have a relic. It's a good one, Bryson Stott. Oh, I like that one a lot. I'm actually going to put that in the number one spot right now. Bryson Stott is a very highly regarded prospect with the Philadelphia Phillies. First round pick, as it says right there, first round materials, and he was the number 14 overall pick. I absolutely love this card. 66 of 99, Bryson Stott. Here's the back of that one. So Elite Extra Edition, doing a nice job so far. This may not be the last place um, uh, contestant after. Then we have Miguel Giraldo as our last one right there. So I'm not too familiar with him or the other um, prospects out of here. So I'm just going to put them in any old order right there. Those are my top five. I really like the Bryson Stott as the first um, number one card right there, number one pick. Next up, we're going to open this blaster box and see how it stacks up to Elite Extra Edition. It's one of my favorites. It's 2019 Archives. I really like how they toss it back to 1958, 1993, and 1975. And also, I love the rookie class. And if you are a member of my Patreon page, I picked up a whole, actually a couple cases of these. 
to populate your Patreon pack. So all of you guys that have the new or get new packs as one of your perks, you're going to have an archives pack amongst your packs in June whenever I send those packages out. We'll probably start sending those around the middle of June. You can see inside we have some baseball coins, which I absolutely despise these, but we'll open it up anyway. I despise them for the simple reason is they always kind of like fall off the stacks uh, whenever I put these in my shipping area. Uh, there's Aussie Albies. Not much value to these coins, so these are not going in the maybe pile. I, I guess we could put them in a sleeve here. Olivia, can you open up those sleeves and give me one of those? And then we have Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker, whose rookie card is from 2019. Very, very nice. So, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you very much. We'll put those in there so we don't lose those seven packs. As we go through, I'm just going to pick out the good ones and put them in my maybe pile, and then we will arrange them. And then you can either agree or disagree with me. I'll tell you which box I think is the winner. Here's our first pack. We got Jim Tomey leading things off, and Eddie Murray, a couple of Hall of Famers right there. Let's make it three Hall of Famers, Sandy Koufax. Unfortunately, these are not, uh, there's not a ton of value to these unless you send Jim Tomey this card and he autographs it for you. Um, still pretty cool. Love the designs. A Yankees Hall of Famer, Bernie Williams, out in Monument Park, not in the MLB Hall of Fame. Then we have Frankie Lindor. Brandon Nimmo, Nomar Mazar, and a Griffin Canning is the last one right there. So uh, probably, I don't know if I'm going to put any of these in my maybe pile. I guess I'll put Frankie Lindor down as being my favorite card out of that stack, or that pack, I should say. We got Pujols leading things off. Pack number two, Rysel Iglesias. There's Hall of Famer, the Big Hurt. Danny Jansen, rookie card. I've pulled quite a few of his autographs out of 2019 products. Bryce Harper, that's a nice one. Freddie Freeman pulled a bunch of his rookie cards in our last live stream. Throwback Thursday live stream. Hopefully you're able to catch that of Topps Lineage. We'll be live again on Monday. We're usually live on Sunday nights. So we're going to have to push it back to Monday as one of my cases is a little delayed for Topps Tier 1. So we're going to be breaking three full cases of Topps Tier 1 on Monday night, starting maybe around 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Hope you can all join us. Here we go, our next pack. Looking for the big rookie cards in here, like Aloy Jimenez. There's Will Cordero, 1969 design. Kind of, I, I, maybe there's maybe it's worth a dollar. I'll put it in the maybe pile. Mike Piazza is the last one. Looking for guys like Aloy Jimenez and Fernando Tatis Jr., Pete Alonso, all the big rookies from this class. There's also guys like Kopik. Here we go. Fernando Tatis Jr. Automatically, I'm going to put this in the number one spot. He is one of the top rookie cards. And quite frankly, even if I pull a Pete Alonso rookie card, I still might stick with Tatis as my number one card. Uh, he is going to be a major, major star in my opinion. There's Trey Mancini, Taiwan Walker. Max Kepler, who belted 30 home runs last year. Lourdes Gurriel Jr., who is the final card showing up in our Tier 1 preview video. I like that one. Hopefully you were able to check that one out. I opened five boxes of Tier 1 in a preview video uh, earlier today. Kyle Tucker, rookie card, 1993 Tops design is good enough for me to go in my maybe pile. Three packs left from Archives. Would love to pull an autograph. I'm not expecting to, but we shall see. There's Reggie Jackson, Mr. October, Joey Gallo. We have John Duplantier, rookie card, Ichiro. Now, there's a bunch of Ichiro um, cards in this set. They did one of each one of his tops cards and stamped it, kind of like a little um, archive of his uh, baseball card checklist there, uh, spending the whole way back from 2001. There's Jesus Aguilar and Manny Machado. I'm, I'm going to probably put that each row in my baby pile. Um, all right, so two more packs left for Ryan. Let's see what we can find to join your Tatis Jr. We got A-Rod leading things off. Found a bunch of his rookie cards, a couple of throwback Thursdays ago out of the um, 1994 Flair case that I bought. Tony Perez, he's a Hall of Famer, and it's a mini, not numbered. Sometimes the minis in some sets are numbered out of about 100. I think they're numbered out of 100 in Heritage. Cedric Mullins, rookie card, Roger Clemens, and Joey Votto are the last ones. Last pack for archives, and I have to decide what is going to go with the Tatis. All right, we got Cepeda, Suarez, Helton, Yvonne Rodriguez, a rookie card of DJ Stewart. There he is, Pete Alonso, rookie card. Very nice. Congratulations on finding that one, Ryan. And true to my word, I'm going to put P. 
compete in the number two spot. So at least I have the first two spots figured out. I love the 1993 design on that Pete Alonso. By the way, I don't know what they're doing here using a 1994 design in the set for the Future Star. This was um, from the 94 top set. So here we go. The rest of the cards that I'm going to put down on my list. This was my maybe pile. I'm going to go with Kyle Tucker as number three. After that, it gets a little bit tough for me. I could go any which way. I'm going to go with a future star, Lord Ace Goriel. And um, no offense to um, Tony Perez. It's not a numbered card. So I'm going to go with, uh, I'm torn between the Ichiro reprint and Bryce Harper. I'm going to go with Ichiro's reprint and give him some respect. One of the greatest hitters of all time. So this is a pretty tough decision right now between the top and the second box. The first box and the second box. I love the Bryson Stott. I just love that relic out of 99, but I love these two rookies as well. Um, this is going to be a tough one. I bet you if I put a poll up right now, uh, I'm not going to, but if I put a poll up, these two would be almost 50-50. Uh, people, some people really love their prospects, and some people really love their rookies, especially big name rookies like Tatis and Alonso. So here we go. Last one. I picked this one to be the winning box tonight. Let's see if I'm right. There are um, 20, looks like 20 cards in the, uh, box plus an exclusive three card bonus pack. I was lucky enough to find this at a Walmart, uh, for $19.99. These boxes nowadays, you can find them on eBay, but you're going to have to pay a little bit of an upcharge. It's going to be, uh, I think they're about $35 a piece or something like that. So we have an unparalleled 2019 baseball. Let's see what we can find from our um, box. Here we go. We got Bryce Harper on the back. And Chronicles is pretty cool because they draw from lots of different designs. There's Cody Bellinger on the front. We got Paul DeYoung. Um, looks like the corner took a little bit of a hit on that one. Yusei Kikuchi, rookie card from the Titans set. Nolan Arenado. From Obsidian, like the look of that one. And there's Bryce Harper as well from, I think that's the Spectra set. I forget what, I have no, I guess status. Something that starts with an S. So we'll put that one in my maybe pile. Um, Nolan Arenado, I like that card a lot too. But I think Harper might be worth just a tad bit more. Though some people despise Bryce Harper. Here we go to the next pack. Be nice to find an autograph. Here we have kind of a, a typical looking scorecard. It reminds me of the big head cards from the early 90s score. I think it was like 92 score, 91, 92 score. It had those big head cards in it. But there are Pete Alonso rookie cards that have that design. Thyro Estrada, we have a Pete Alonso. Speaking of rookie cards, there we go. Pete Alonso Crusade rookie card. Very nice. So the Pete Alonso, we're going to take this bad boy and put it in the number one position right now. Gonna have to probably adjust the screen a little bit to get Alonso to fit. So two Pete Alonso rookie cards tonight. So far, so good. Thanks, Livy. Moving that up for me. Pete Alonso, my number one spot. Then we have a Chris Paddock rookie card and Joey Votto. I'm gonna put Paddock in my maybe pile. Next pack up. Let's see what we can find from pack number two. Let's see if anything can join the Alonso. Another Yusei Kikuchi rookie card. Adam Jones is now taking his talents overseas. He's playing ball in Japan this year and I think next year as well. Shohei Otani, rookie and stars subset right there. That's not his rookie card. That was still a cool one. Good enough to get in my maybe pile. Nick Senzel rookie card season ticket. I like this one a lot. I'm a big Senzel fan, so that one's going in my number two spot. We have... Aloy Jimenez, looks like the corners here got a little bit jacked up. Aloy Jimenez is a great rookie as well. That one's going number three. So, so far, I'll tell you what, um, I I don't know, Livy. I'm, I might I might have to put um, the Chronicles box as being better. We'll see. There's Aaron Judge. There's Justin Turner. Juan Soto season ticket card, and another Juan Soto, the Obsidian card, which is a beautiful card. It's a thicker stock card, too, as you can see right there. It's about double the size of the Mitch Keller rookie card. Those are going in the maybe pile as well. And we have our last pack here. It's going to be this unparalleled 2019 baseball pack. And we have Brandon Lau rookie card leading things off. A beautiful design to these cards. Check that out. Then we have Austin Riley rookie card. And to finish things off, we, of course, have the greatest player in the game, Mike Trout. A beautiful-looking card. You can just... 
I don't know. I love uh, you can just move it around and the card just uh, I don't know mesmerizes you. So a lot of cards in the maybe pile for the last three spots. I might even bump the Aloy Jimenez down a bit. Now I'm going to overlook the condition of the cards uh, as there's some of these cards have ding corners. Because uh, we're just going to see which box deliver the best cards. That Mike Trout's going to have to be in there somewhere. In fact, I might end up moving that one up. I, uh, you guys know I love my rookie cards, but I also love this Obsidian Juan Soto card. Uh, the season ticket card, I love that one, but not as much as the Obsidian card. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Obsidian as my final card. So I'm probably just going to adjust the order here. I'm probably going to move the uh, Trout to number three. Slightly below Senzel. Juan Soto for Aloy Jimenez. Well, you know what? It's Aloy Jimenez. He's awesome. Um, I'm going to put him at number four. Slightly above the Juan Soto. So that's my rankings. Of course, everybody values cards differently and collects different things. So you may have a different ranking, which is fine. But we can all hopefully agree on a winner. And I'm telling you what. I'm having a really hard time picking which one was my favorite box. Um... We have Pete Alonso's kind of cancel each other out, right? So Fernando Tatis Jr. might put this row ahead of the other ones. Mm -hmm. uh, Nick Senzel's kind of, I don't know, like the sixth, seventh best rookie in the class. Aloy Jimenez usually is considered like the third or fourth best rookie. So I don't know what to do here. Olivia, which one would you pick to be the winner? First, second. Okay, Olivia goes first, second, third. I'm going to go with Olivia. I am going to call 2019 Archives as our winner just by hair. Now, I know a lot of you will disagree, and that's fine. Go ahead and tell me in the comment section. If you saw all these out at a card, uh, card show, and there were each 20 bucks a piece for all five cards or whatever, which one would you buy, all things considered equal? I would go with this row because I love those two rookie cards. Tatis and Alonso are definitely ones that you want to pick up whenever you see them out and about if you can get a good deal on them. So that's how I'm calling it. Ryan, um, you can let us know in the comments which one you thought was your favorite. Um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Again, Ryan, congratulations on your graduation and uh, good luck in the future. I hope all of you guys hit that subscribe button. And I hope you can join us for our next live stream on Monday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time as we will be going through three full cases of the brand new 2020 Tier 1 with three cards per box, and they're all hits, two autographs and one relic per box, and I'm hoping to find some really big hits from that. So I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you tune in this weekend for the Boombox videos. We'll be giving both of those away. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment on the videos, and we'll give those away on Monday during the live stream uh, to one random commenter that is also a subscriber. So thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the Saturday Showdown and also the Boombox High End videos. So, good night, everybody.